waffle? Yeah. Do dog people really hate cat people? No, Flair, that's not true. Hmm? Hey everybody, it's Jared and this is Throwback Thursday on Game Guardians Genesis. Today's game is Tail Concerto, released on November 3rd, 1999 in the US, December 1998 in uh, France, and April 16th, 1998 in Japan. This action adventure game is the first in a spiritual series called Little Tail Bronx. Okay, just to clarify, spiritual series is a series where none of them are direct sequels and they're all just like loosely connected within a universe. Alrighty, uh, here's the plot. Despite the fact the game is 17 years old, I'm still gonna say this. Spoiler alert. Alrighty. You play as Waffle Rybread, a young canine cop from the Kingdom of Prairie, and he begins his investigation into a public disturbance caused by the Black Cat Gang on one of Prairie's islands. He and the Black Cat's leader, Alicia, immediately recognize each other as childhood friends before she feigns ignorance and escapes. Waffle soon encounters the cats again after they kidnap the adventurous Princess Terria. And Waffle learns that they are seeking five special crystals that hold unknown, potentially dangerous power. After speaking with uh, his grandfather Russell, Waffle learns that the crystals once served as a power source for a colossal robot called the Iron Giant, which nearly destroyed the world centuries ago in a great war. Thinking the cats want to revive the giant themselves, he discovers that the gang is unaware of the crystal's purpose, and were only gathering them on behalf of their financer and weapons supplier Fool, who tricked them with the promise of getting revenge on the dog people for years of prejudice. Fool successfully wakes up the giant using the four crystals in Alicia's pendant, which was a present from Waffle when they were both young, and is revealed to be the fifth uh, crystal. However, the robot immediately turns on Fool, and Alicia flies her hot air balloon inside the creature to get the pendant back. Waffle goes in to rescue her, assisted by both the Black Cats and the Princess's Royal Guard, Kyan. He manages to destroy the core while he and Alicia make their escape. In the end, Waffle takes Alicia back to his home to recover and gives her back the pendant to reaffirm the friendship. Alrighty, let's get into some of the facts. Okay, before I go into fact number one, I would like to add, I apologize for butchering these names in advance. I have difficulty with names in English to start with, so Japanese names aren't going to go very well. Alrighty, fact number one, Tail Concerto had some moderately prestigious people work on the game. The opening song, For Little Tail, which is only in the Japanese version, was sung by the Japanese artist Kokia before she made her music industry debut. Character designer, Nobetero Yuki uh, also worked on Chrono Cross, Ragnarok Online, and The Vision of Escaflown. The Japanese voice actor for Waffle, Akio Samua, uh, has voiced for uh, Attack on Titan, Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh!, Final Fantasy X, and Final Fantasy X 2, and Modern Warfare 3. Waffle's English voice actor was Lene Magna. Uh, she has voiced over 365 characters, including Nancy Drew, Ivy Valentine, Ivy the Bat, and Casper the Ghost. Other notable roles by the voice actors are Chun Li and Rose from Street Fighter, Lisa Hamilton from Dead or Alive, Koku from Oni, uh, Yuko uh, Amagi and Aegis from Persona, Heather Mason from Silent Hills 3 HD Collection, Frieza from Dragon Ball, and additional roles in other popular animes and uh, video games. Fact number two: Despite poor sales, uh, globally, Tail Concerto only sold 150,000 copies. Uh, CyberConnect, the developers, had plans for a direct sequel as early as 1999. Bandy rejected the company in 1999, 2000, 2003, and 2004. So instead, CyberConnect just made a public safety mascot for uh, one of the Japanese provinces from the same universe of Tail Concerto, which led to a uh, Slobotrobo, a uh, Tail Concerto's spiritual successor. Fact number three, Tail Concerto finally received an official soundtrack on January 30, 2015. That's almost 17 years after the game's release. Uh, fact number four, Tail Concerto receives plenty of references in CyberConnect's other series, Dot Hack, including ads for Tail Concerto and Tail Concerto 2, NPCs named for the Tail Concerto characters, background music 37 being a mix of Cayenne and Princess Terria's themes, the ability to summon drill bots and members of the Black Cat Gang, an exact copy of Tail Concerto's boss fight and love triangle. I think the developers enjoyed this game as much as I did. <laughs> uh, fact number five, there's a small cult following of Tail Concerto. They appear to sacrifice small children every April 16th in hopes of a sequel. Okay, that was a joke, guys. Don't don't take me serious on that one. Uh, small following does actually exist. They do the, the normal stuff that these followings do. Uh, hentai, fanfics, fan art, obsessing over any mention of the game. You know, the normal. 
Anyways, uh, here's my review of the game. This is truly a Dark Horse game. It's both challenging and fun, something that most adventure games struggle at. While the game gets bogged down at times, like with the minecart sequence, it's easy to look past that as Scale Concerto makes up with humor. If the game were released today, excluding the graphics, uh, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Though I do have to agree with some of the pro reviews. The game is too short. I wish it could be something along the length of uh, like the entire Mass Effect series, or as long as the Tomb Raider reboot. Do you have any questions, comments, or just plain gibberish? Put it in the comments section below, and come back next week for more Throwback Thursday on Game Guardians Genesis. Now if you excuse me, I have some spiritual sequels to hunt down. Bonus fact, you're still watching this video and not playing Cal Concerto. Shame on you.